the set, first line. Well, first things first. first. John Game Rowling ball. said during the first match for Tibor that he was a big seven. fan of that walk-on song for the French Minute. I believe it's called Essentiel by Ibrahim Malouf. So I'll have to send a link to that One of the to Lord 40. Rowling. And she'll be chilling at the end of the evening. 22. What do you make of this one then, Murph? Because tonight has been a bit of a bloodbath when it comes to defending champions. We are going to see 100. possibly two new winners. Oh, there's a muffin. <laughs> you lucky duck. Here comes a muffin man. What are the yeah, it has been a remarkable night in which we've seen both defending champions knocked out in the space of, what, 40 minutes? Yeah, something like that. 85. Is it good for the sport to see two new winners potentially? I think there's an argument that can be made for, for both things. I think Makuru Suzuki to win a third straight title would have been something special, but there are loads of players Steve in both Unicorn draws we've said all week that could go on and take the title and it won't be someone who's won it last time. I do have one other question to ask you. It may yeah, be after this leg, which has just line. been won by Steve, Steve Hine. Hine. That's a great Say thumb plus check out to start this match. Newport. Again, best of five sets. Last 16 fears. The quarterfinals will be 98. tomorrow. And the lineup will be done in the next couple of hours. Before you ask me a question, I was asking Steve Hine some questions before the match, as you would have seen 99. at home. And Hine said that the thing that got him through all those last leg deciders in sets has been experience. And then when I spoke to Tebow, he said, I don't have enough experience. 100. So despite Tebow being the number two seed, experience is certainly on the side of Steve Hine in this one, and both players know it. Oh, absolutely. 40. Steve's been playing at a very high level for almost 20 years. In the words of Michael J. Fox from The Secret of My Success in 1986, 57. How am I supposed to get experience if you don't give me a job that's going to give me experience? Well, here's the thing about Tebow Trecol. You've got to continually get here to get the kind of experience that Steve Hine has. So what was your question? My question is, and this is in all 16. seriousness, we've seen Mikuru come over here in 2019 and win the title. We've seen her come to defend it. 93. Is she going to come back? Or is she going to now concentrate on the Japanese circuit that she owns all of the time? And she'll say, do you know what? I've had a good run in steel tip darts. I've got a couple of world titles. One of the I'm going to leave it at that. Steve I wouldn't be shocked if that was the case. You would be ashamed if it was for us and for you. 51. Come back to that, but Trico here will look at 46. 46. 14 for double 16 is the usual MO, and he's gone that route. Can he execute? Yeah, he can. Come short the second one more. Tebow's recall. Third lack is yeah, Good start of this first. one. Game on. And Tebow's wearing his away shirt tonight. 60. Yeah, just going back to that point, I think or I hope, perhaps, that there is enough going on in the women's game over here that could draw Makuru to play more, to travel more over here. We've got the women's 16. series in the PDC. There are plenty of opportunities in the, in the WDF. There's the carrot of playing at the World Match Play, the carrot of being at the World 100. Masters, of being back here at the Lakeside next year for the World Championship. So I think and hope that she'll carry on. Yeah, I, be I believe that there, is, there are some decisions to make. One of the M40. It'll be interesting to see what the media can get in due course. Well, Steve Hine had a, One of the a decision to make. He's kind of doing himself out of having to make that decision because he also mentioned that he's entered the qualifiers for the World Seniors Masters, which will take place here at Lakeside at the end of next month. 100. Now, if he wins this match, he's not going to be able to go. It's a good problem to have, Steve. Yeah, he, he said, I, I hope I'm not, I hope I don't go. 16. Strange thing to say, isn't it? I hope I don't go. Well, Tebow's looking at 105 plus here. There's the five. 
Here's the plus. One hundred and twenty-five. I promise you, I didn't know Steve he was going to hit that. One hundred and forty-one. I was just hoping for his sake. He's going to get a look at the seventy-six. Did miss a few doubles in his previous match. There's Muffin Woman. I think Mrs. Muffin is the term that she goes by on social media. Double top. 56. Steve, you require yeah, 16. Daughter. I suppose it'd be Mini Muffin. No score. Thibaut, you require 20. Well, it's missed darts by Hein that allow French touch an opportunity to take the lead. 10. Steve, you require 16. Decline the offer. Yeah, that's game short. Sure, they won't get offered it again. Steve Hine. Ford like a Steve well, Steve's first. from the great Steve. county of Warwickshire, which has had a phenomenal amount of great players over the years. 97. Including, of course, the 10 time Ladies World Champion Trina Gulliver. I remember the first time I ever saw Steve play. It was the 83. first weekend of this millennium when Northumberland played against Warwickshire and Steve was in an A team that included a plethora of great talent like Colin Fowler, Kevin Dowling, himself of course, Andy Smith, 16. the pie man. There's definitely a theme with muffins and pies. But I think we'll see Trina Gulliver back in this tournament again. Playing some decent 40. stuff. She played some decent stuff in knocking out the defending champion Makuru Suzuki. 83. Chibo, you require 164. Plenty of time for the number two seed here. The man from Brittany in France. 100. Finds a ton. Now he's concentrating on 64 when he returns. Pressure. One of them, Plenty 40. of it. Gets himself requires 64. A decent range, just in case Thibaut doesn't take this. But he should. And this is a bonus opportunity Steve to win the set. Yeah, and he did struggle in the first couple of sets. Plenty of times he left himself on double one in his last match. And now Steve Hine takes aim at the bullseye for a blockbuster. 99. Yeah, you well, if the bullseye 16. was Coventry, that one was in Birmingham. This can't miss, yeah, and he doesn't. The fourth line. He's, He's living a very charmed life, is Thibaut Tricol. Hello, Brian. We'll see you tomorrow. Can't wait for that game. Yeah, as you were saying, the quarter-final lineup 100. taking shape is almost complete. The last two matches of the evening will decide it, and the eight quarter-finals, four from the women's tournament four from the men's competition will all take place tomorrow on a fantastic Friday all kicking off with Priscilla Steenbergen against Kirsty Hutchinson before Jim McEwen meets Neil Duff and then Rihanna O'Sullivan that lady right there faces Maria O'Brien the winner of this match will take on the winner of the next match 62 Scott Marsh against Andy Barton in the last game of the afternoon session tomorrow I believe there are some tickets 18. still available, so if you want a decent day at the darts, call up the box office, head to the website, come and join us. They always say that quarter-final day of a World Championship is the best day because you get to 100. see loads of matches and everybody's warmed up. Quality is almost guaranteed. Hein, 84. who's been impervious in this tournament so far and taking out Kevin Luke and Leonard Gates. Like I said before this match began, playing against someone who was not Steve from the United States for the first time. That's nice. That almost was too. So is Trecole. Going to lead a charmed existence 84. once again by stealing this set away Chico from an opponent who really should have won it, in my opinion. Yeah, Trecole's missed. Eight darts that double in this opening set. 62. Will he get any 
in the all-important fifth leg. Remember what we said at the start of the match. All but one of the sets that Steve Hine has played in have gone to a deciding leg. And, that's King the and he's won set. the ball, and Steve he's won another Hine. one. And Steve Hine... That's a bit of a, a side show because of the whole Muffin Man thing, that the muffins on the walk-on, that kind of thing. But he has come to Lakeside 59. with a real purpose this week. And if it goes 2-2, two, two, just fancy him. Oh, and he's doing things with those really oh, big barrels that I've never seen him do before. I'll tell you what, he's enjoying himself, Paul. He really is loving life at the lakeside. In between the breaks, he's singing and dancing. Along with the crowd. Just 25. was carrying on. Singing, I'm a believer, and perhaps he is. Well, I can't let that one slide. 180 followed by 25. Do you know what we say when that happens? 100. Back to normal. You go to any local darts around the world, open with a 180, and then you follow with something like 25. Everybody will say, back to normal. It's not something I've ever experienced myself. Well, 180. <laughs> Yeah, just the 25 pair I've managed. 60. Yeah, Thibaut's doing everything the hard way this week so far, and you just get the feeling with this match that Hein is in control. Thibaut's just got a plucky style about him, and he's going to need every single piece of it. 100. Steve, you require 154. 154 on offer. Not going to go, so Treacle will come back looking at 82. Thibault, Imagine he would go the 82. bullseye route. Now 17. Now double 20. 42. Steve, you require a 47. Double fat. Missed. That's missed as well. That's two big misses in the last two darts. 37 left. Okay, that was different. 27. I did not expect him to do that. Yeah, I think he 14. miscounted. He had a big 10 with his last start, didn't he? Yeah, it has came short on the first lap. Debo to Second lap, and Steve to throw first. Yeah, I don't think he's <laughs> trying to lay up for double 10, that's for sure. But if you're going to make 100. mistakes like that, make it in the first leg of a set. Yeah, you mentioned the, the, as you called it, a sideshow. He did threaten, didn't he? 15 years ago now, 16. Steve Hine reached the quarterfinals at the UK Open. As there is Neil Duff drinking from his cup of confidence. What are the names? Was that the year that Van der Voort made the final? He was, yeah. It was Colin Lloyd who did for Hine in the last eight. Van der Voort then beat Colin Osborne in the semis. Lloyd went down to Barney and Barney took the title. The man who's taken this title many, many times. Six yeah, four times at the lakeside. And once at the tavern. This is better from the Frenchman. One of the new 40. Those barrels that he uses, I think they've got some age about them. I think he's one of those players who doesn't one rotate the barrels every two or three months. I think these are trusty old things that he's had for a while. One hundred. Steve, you require ninety-six. Okay, sixteen, double eighteen. Good find, double eight. Eighty-eight. Boy, is he quick. Steve, you require when we talk about 16. quick players, we very rarely talk about Steve Hein. Double top for Thibaut Trico. Takes a moment. He thinks it's a big moment, yeah, and it's his moment. A ton-topping checkout. For Thibaut Tricol to double his lead in the second set. And now, Third leg is Thibaut to throw first. he will throw to level the Game match. Yeah, Paul, you were talking about Steve Hines' technique there. Tony O'Shea said that if he wasn't called the Muffin Man, he should rename himself five. to the man with no aim. I quite like that. Yeah, he's very Nine much a field nine. player, Steve Hines. Always has been. That technique has never changed. With some players over, say, a 20-year period, their technique will evolve. 
But if you look at Hein 26. 20 years ago to now, it hasn't changed one little bit. If you want to look at Phil Taylor in the mid 90s to around about 2016, 51. and then some of the periods in between those times, it changed almost every two or three seasons because he was constantly looking for perfection and more often than not he found it didn't he just 60 just losing his touch a little bit here steve hine and allowing the french touch the opportunity to breeze to a set remember hine hasn't One lost a set so far in this tournament you know, imagine if he didn't lose one. Well, he has a lot of work to do to stop that happening here. Treacle knows, but he has at least half a dozen darts to take out one four three. I'm just thinking back. I'm, I know that nobody has won this title without losing a set, but didn't Stephen Bunting win the World Masters without losing a set? Forty four. Thibaut, you require 65. It's good knowledge. If he did, Paul, I, can't, I can neither confirm or deny. We'll find out. But Treacle here for this set to make sure that Steve Hine does lose at least one. Yeah, that's King and he Sean finds the double ten. Set. And he Tico. levels the match. One set of peace, a breeze for Treacle in that one. Kimo. He roars back with three unanswered legs. Hine has just had to settle down a little bit here. One other end, 37. I can confirm that when Stephen Bunting won the World Masters in 2013, he didn't lose a set. 85. That was somewhere really deep in my mind. I'm glad I got that right. Well, absolutely stunning in that case. And if you are watching Stephen, 100. a very belated well done. You're nine years late to the party. I think Stephen is watching. He was very much in the Luke 60. Littler corner earlier in the tournament, but I'm sure Stephen's on his way to Barnsley and watching on a smart device. 100. Yeah, and he's a player that's finding form again over the last year or two, Stephen Bunting. I would watch out for the bullets. Yeah, and the person he beat in the final has been here 96. today in Chuck Steve Allen Norris. 164. Yes. Uh, decided not to 81. go for the showstopper there. Did you like a kipper there, didn't he? He thought he was going to go for it. Well, he's an entertainer, isn't he? He'd rather let me down. One of the M40. Doesn't want to let himself Steve down Yukara, yet. 83. He was lurking again. 66 the, left. May end up on the ball anyway. 43. Wow. Well, he didn't Thibaut want to go Yukara, 16 ball for some reason. I think that's a risky play. Very risky on 120, and he gets the dart at tops. Yeah, silly, silly Steve. What have you done? Paul Nicholson is shaking his head alongside me. The only thing I can think of Second is that Thibaut Steve did first. not know Game the on. position that Thibaut was in. Either he misread the 120 or he was already so tuned in to what he was doing One of them, that he didn't know that Thibaut was on something makeable. Well, that kind of thing can't happen again. 26. We do see players opt not to go for the bullseye when their opponents are on huge finishes, like the 164 that Hyde himself chose not to go for. But not when what they're on a finish like 120. Oh, I can outdo that. Earlier this season, I saw somebody lay up when somebody was on 88. What are 40? That was Christoph Kachuk of Poland did that, and I thought it was complete lunacy. Well, lesson taught by Trico. So has now reeled off the last four legs in this match. Did you do French at school? No. 59. You didn't have the choice to do it? No, we were told what we did at school, Paul. And French wasn't part of your curriculum? I, I did German. Oh. We. Oui. Oui. Almost oui. c'est bon. I had a great French teacher at school. She was called Mrs. Proudfoot. No relation to Jim. 
Great French Thibaut name there. Required 20. For 2 0. Yeah, that's that's game right at the, the top. Line. And you might goal. think that that is nowhere Third near the middle. But you'd first. much rather hit game double one. 10 towards the north of it than go near that double 15. This game is changing. Well, it's five in a row now for Trico. On easy street right now, Steve Hine has 100. stuttered and struggled, as did James Hurrell in his first match, but he was much, much better today. 60. Yeah, it was like Hurrell in a hurry. Yeah, very good stuff, a 3-0 win against the Netherlands' 60. Ryan de Vreda. Hurrell will face Cameron Menzies in the quarterfinals tomorrow. I, he's knocked out Wayne Warren. I get the feeling Murph, that that game is going to be quite different. I think there's going to be some testosterone on that stage. Looking forward to it. One of the new 40. He's laughing a little bit because he keeps putting the first two in, then not finding the third. A dark player would much rather have a bucket full of 50 140s 90. than a couple of maximums. Trust me. That's exactly how they feel. Now, you don't want a 180 here. But he's got... 139. 8 140s. Sorry, 9 140s and no maximums. Stayed there for double 11. Yeah, that's and he's pulled it off. The third Steve, Steve Hine back in business. A whopper. A 142 check out. Like and he halves first. the deficit Team. in the third set. When have you ever seen... This kind of showmanship from the Muffin Man. I've watched him 100. all my career. The first year I turned pro, I travelled to Australia, to the States, to Canada, 59. all over the world with Steve for an entire month. He was great company. But he doesn't play darts like this. He doesn't look at the crowd and give it big licks. Well, maybe 100. he does now. Yeah, the showman on the walk-on, but very much serious business when he gets... On the hockey. I suppose you could say, in baking terms, he's trying to prove himself. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave that hanging for a little bit longer. And then we'll get back to the darts. I'm not trying to outdo your monologue, by the way. <laughs> That's outdoing himself. That's great. And look at this from Heine. Well, I'm loving it. They're loving it. He's loving it. I wonder what Courtney thinks, his daughter. I don't think Courtney's here. She throws a mean dart on herself. She might Steve be either loving it at home or hiding behind the couch. Salute Steve Hine. They'll all salute if he takes this out, but that chance has gone with a second dart. And in all the showmanship from Steve, Treacle could take the set. Double 16. Yeah, and Trico does the take the set. Team what an amazing spell of the game on. And Mikuru's social media channel has confirmed to us that she wants to come back onto this stage. 16. In her own words, not very good tonight. I would like to return to this stage again next time. Thank you for your support. What are the Early one? in the morning, I think she's talking about people in Japan, of course. But great to hear that she wants to come back. Yeah, and while we're on the subject of women's darts, we also had a chat about tournaments, one without dropping a set, and of course it has happened 45. in the Women's World Championship. Trina Gulliver has done that, as has Makuru herself, Lisa Ashton, and Anastasia Dobromislova. Quite the esteemed list there, isn't it? All multiple champions. So if you want to be a multiple Women's World Champion, you've got to have one year where you don't drop a set. Well, Hein has dropped two here, and if he drops one more, he'll be dropped from the 100. tournament and heading to Reading to play in the Seniors World, World Masters qualifier. Darts right now has got so much in the way what of the action. 40. And I'm seeing, like never before, people in tournaments of this kind of ilk looking over their shoulder 59. and saying, you know what, if this doesn't work out, there's something to do tomorrow. 40, 56. He's got something to do tomorrow. I don't know what Wayne Warren's doing, though. 
It is always a great darting 16. community. Steve, you require 144. All the players stick around and watch their friends, two of the world together. It's better if 54. you all get on, isn't it? It's easier. Chibo, you require 96. Most of the time. I've been very fortunate <laughs> with some of my travelling partners. Stay there. Ooh, hello. Yeah, oh, it's came gorgeous from Chicago. I didn't think he was going to go that Steve route, to first. but he's so Demon. quick and so organic. He just Lane found it without thinking. Brilliant and from it, Tebow. And it's a brilliant run of legs. Really is. Showing the Muffin Man how it's done. 99. Six out of seven becomes seven out of eight. 41. I would classify Double T as a bit streaky. I know he was quite fortunate to come through in his first game, but we are seeing a much more polished 100. product in this last 16 match. And how many times have we said that? A player who's played the first match and then has been much, much better in the second. Now you see some of those finishes from this match. Very, very good indeed. Good tactics here from... Tibor Tricol, and what he finds the lead that he craved. Well, it's going well. The number two seed in the men's tournament, but the number one seed in the women's 98. tournament was knocked out. Tibor Tricol, 70. She's been here nearly a week now. She's only played six legs. Didn't win one. Yeah, Tori Q. 58. Steve Tricol, 130. In tomorrow's quarterfinals. 60. Bullseye. 81. Thibaut Yuriko, 112. It. In the one. For a second, I thought he laid up again. Oh, uh, not again. He just missed. Not again. 92. Not again. Steve Yuriko, 49. Well, it's a fast-paced, frantic, fabulous game of darts. But Steve Hine... Looks at double yeah, 16, he took a step back then and it proved to be the right Steve thing. Hine. Yeah, that one didn't Lucas really Steve suit the, the swagger, Steve. Just carry on, pal. He gave that full-on Mervyn King, didn't he? He's going to give it large... Oh, no. I won't bother. Do you remember that? One hundred. Yeah. Coventry, funnily enough. It was at Coventry, it was in Steve Hines' hometown, where Merv King was getting involved in a real battle with 16. Michael Van Gogh in, in the final of the Players' Championship finals. That was the famous... What are you doing? Wasn't it from Irving to Michael? Six was something different to that, but plenty of smiles in here. You can see Vicky there is still smiling. But who's going to be smiling after this one? That's we have a 174. Now that did deserve the celebration. He's getting the hang of it now. He's giving it the pause, isn't he? He's giving it the catalogue pause. Well, look how much Treacle's doubling has improved there. He was struggling at the start of the match. But he's got up to almost 40%. 81. When you're having this much fun, you don't want it to end. It's the worst feeling when you're having the time of your life and then somebody says, 58. see you next time. Well, Aileen de Graff said that she didn't even know she'd won when she hit the winning double. She was enjoying life so much. 174 in this leg, twice by Steve Hine. Wow. I'll be wondering if Marco Meyer has ever called a leg of darts in his career on the stage Steve with two 174s in the same leg. Oh, the baker no can't score. take out the dozen. Thibaut, you require 167. I'm just going to say it. No. It's not going to happen. That would have been some grab from behind. Steve, you require 12. Double six again for Steve Hine. And this time and he gets it. And, and he turns around Steve and Hine. he turns around the set. He leads 2-1 and he has the darts. It's so funny when he turns Four around after hitting Steve something. It's like he's looking Demon. for someone and he just can't find them. He's looking right, he's looking left. Tell you what, Steve, look at the board. That's where you're going to find success. So much fun, this game of darts, but at some point, 
particularly if it goes 45. into the final set. It's going to get much quieter in here, much more serious between the players. As the tension starts to rise, as the drama starts to stir. And you can almost just start to feel that happening now. I agree with you. 97. This place is being tempered. There will be no more breaks in this match. We will go to a conclusion. And there are no tie breaks in the final set if we need it. 18. She's a little bit more worried than she was earlier. Well, Hines still in a good spot. 58. To take the set. Good for mine. In fact, I'll revise. That was excellent. Chikol needs something huge. 100. Not good enough. Steve, you recall Hine for the set has got six from here to take us to set five. He can go ball if he chooses. Well, that was for the ball, 42. I assure you. But all is not lost. He will return. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's the most comfortable thing he could have left. 60 can be very, very tricky. 97. A lot depends Steve on where this first 60. start lands. Don't block the double. Hit the double instead. 50. Oh, he's very close to busting his score there. Yeah, almost hit it again. tricol has been good on the combos. There's the burger. There's the fries. How about a large drink? Yeah, it oh, is. Fill your boots, kid. It's 2-2 two -two two in the fourth. Well, Steve Hine made a meal out of the 60. And then Treacle. Fifth lag is Steve Burner throw first. Accepted the deal. Game on. 2-2, two -two and he has the darts. Not just for the set, but for the match. That is how quickly it can change. It's how quickly it has changed. 81. The amount of times in this tournament so far that Tricol has been way behind and stolen legs away. 60. I'm thinking about changing his nickname to the thief. And the French touch is One of the meant to mean he's got that, that bit of perfection about him. He's got the French touch. Everything he touches is really 97. good. That's a, I suppose it's the same as you know, single guy who has you know a black leather couch and he's got the same coloured walls throughout his apartment. 81. And then starts living with a woman. You get the woman's touch, who comes and brings in some nice plants and some flowers and makes the place look a little bit One more festive. 21. Chicole here is just giving us the French touch because this has been very, very good indeed. There's apparently also a house band called the French Touch, but he hasn't ever heard of the I thought it was linked when I first saw the nickname. Well, he has now. We've all heard of him now, and he's closing in on a win, and he could 99. produce Chibou the French Touch to seal the deal. Missed this earlier on double ten. How about another crack? How about this? To win! Oh, he thought it was in. Steve, you require Can you take the set? Steve Hine. 14. And the ball. 99. Look how close that was. A fraction away. And we would have been going 20. to a fifth and final set. But instead, Game. Tricol Shots. takes the match.